All right. So essentially, uh, once you get started again, like you can go through and select from a number of themes that are there. Uh, whenever you create a WordPress site, you'll notice that when you come to this page, there's going to be a number of different pages that are like $79, $100, and there's other ones that are free. So we're going to find one that we think works best for an uh, e-portfolio. So I'm going to go down and scroll and choose the one that I'm currently using for another site. Uh, you can either go to Live Demo or just click on Use This Theme. Um, the Live Demo is nice because it just shows you what it looks like in action. You can kind of play around with what it looks like. The important thing to note in this um, is going to be just, in a sense, where the menu is laid out. If you've been to any kind of website, you'll typically know where, and I do want some interaction here, uh, what is there, or where is the typical menu on a website actually found? Usually on the top, you're hitting a button, it's coming down, okay, and it's, it's usually responsive uh, when you scroll over it. In this instance, everything is down here on the left, and there's nothing along the top. When it comes to any WordPress site, there's two ways you can make it. You can make it so that the front page is static. And by static, I mean when you come to that page, you're only going to see the same thing every single time. So that one page could just be about you. Okay? And if it's an e-portfolio, that's what I'd like to actually see. So the home page is going to be about you. It has a brief little write-up, maybe a picture. Okay? So then when I come to it, I have a, a brief idea of who you are and what the purpose of the site is. Because the biggest thing for you right now is retention. Okay? And keeping in mind user retention. And a lot of web users are really interested in this, and that's why they have a lot of statistics kind of enabled on their site so they can determine what pages people view and um, what are the more popular pages and what are the more popular posts. Anyway, I like this theme, so I'm going to click on Use This Theme. Uh, I'm going to create a new blog with it. Uh, Camp to I and my blog. Uh, the big thing here is this is up to you to decide. Um, personally, uh, I don't mind if you want to put viewable by everyone. If you have concerns that your parents don't want you to have any pictures online or anything like that, all you have to do is select private. Um, and then literally the only people that can view the website are just like you and anyone you share the link with. Okay? If you don't do any of that stuff at the beginning, you can always change that stuff once you get started, so don't worry about it. Uh, and there's no problem if you want to create it and hide it. I have no issue with that whatsoever. Um, and that's here, they're getting into your blog, blog description or permissions. Yeah, be a jerk, why don't you? And this is um, in the settings feature right here. You'll notice when I go into settings, there are a bunch of different items here. General, writing, reading, discussion. Um, this is typically fine the way it is, but this is where you're going to change the site title, uh, the site tagline. Uh, so we can have another great WordPress site from Hampton High. Uh, date format and all that kind of stuff. And you can even include like a, a blog picture and it's done directly from here. Um, the next thing that you're going to have to set up is going to be, where is it? Not that one. The reading of the page. I want you to make sure that you've selected that this is a static page for your first and then you're going to have an about page and then there's going to be a blog page. But in order for us to do that, we need to actually start to create a number of different pages. So what you're seeing right here is basically the back end of WordPress.com. Okay? So this may be a bit overwhelming for right now. This is why I'm doing the video, so you can go back and take a look at it. And there's a number of different uh, resources we can use as well in this. So along the left here is everything that manages what you're going to be creating. Okay. There's a basic dashboard that you don't necessarily need to be concerned with right now. The store, 
Again, if you want to buy themes and other stuff, if you want to buy the domain name, you can do that if you want. Um, we're finally getting into stuff that matters. Posts is basically where you manage the categories, uh, the posts that you're creating, and whether that be a video post, just a written post, um, it all starts from right here. Okay? Now, um, the basic place to start and the two places that you really need to concern yourself with is pages and posts. So we're going to come down here and look at pages and go to all pages. There's already an about page and this is the one that you can basically turn into your home page if you want. Okay? So on that page you can basically create the little write up and include a picture of yourself. Um, we're not going to get into that yet. We're just going to create a new one called if it opens for me. Wait for it. We're going to create a new one called blog. I love how it's doing this right now. Uh, I wish this looked normal so that you can actually understand what you're supposed to do. to publish. Come on. Just has to be like this here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so now I have a blog page and I have an about page. Um, the other thing that I'm, other ones that I'm going to want to see you create uh, are going to be stuff that basically uh, are your interests and basically any sort of hobbies that you have. If you have something that you're interested in, so personally, if I'm going to make my own site, um, I'm going to have the about page, the blog page, I'm going to have a scuba diving page, and that's basically it. Okay. I want you to have at least something that you're kind of interested in that you can kind of describe and put on there. Because the idea of an e-portfolio is to let people know who you are. And you can't just do that through blog posts. So you have something on there that's like uh, of interest to you. So I'll go through that whole process of making that uh, second page. I just hope it just doesn't do what it just did to me though. Yeah. Scuba diving. And publish. So once I've done that, I'm going to come back down to settings, go to reading, and then I'm going to go back and change this. So I go static page, front page is about, and the post page is blogs. Now what this does now, I'm also going to want to put summary here and scroll down and hit save changes. Now what that is going to do, and I can take a look at this by just clicking on this little icon up here and looking at my site in real time. Um, the about page is right here, but I don't see anything else. If I want to go to my actual blog, at this point, I'd actually have to type it in physically, which there's nothing there, so it's not going to show up. So in order to have our menu show up here on the side, we're going to need to go back into our dashboard and create a menu. And that is easily done. We have menu one here, the four pages that we have. We can get rid of this. That's just a duplication. These three pages are right here. These are the only ones that I want. And I can go in, create that menu. So once I've done that, I'm going to go to Manage Locations and make sure that I've selected Menu 1 as the primary menu. Hit Save. And then now that's going to show up as my primary menu on the site. So um, that's just like the basic outline of what the site's going to look like. Uh, once you have that 
sort of created, then we're ready to start like adding content to this. Um, just to show you the site really quick. Now when I come here, you'll see the about page is here. My blog page is here. Nothing found yet because there's no posts. And the scuba diving page is here. Okay. And we'll start adding content to that in a second. The main thing I want you to do is just to kind of get started with that. So go over to your computers, get started with just that. I'll post this up online for you to take a look at.